the channel. I hope you're having a great day. I have a series of Amore pieces to show you guys. Now this is my first experience with Amore. They fall under the umbrella of the Rene of Paris distributor. So I've reviewed some Noriko pieces who also fall under Rene of Paris and this is just another one of their lines. So I'm going to be showing y'all a topper today. Now this is a little bitty topper, a lot smaller than what I am used to wearing. This is the Flex Topper in color Honey Brown Rooted. Now it's actually very similar to the color that I'm wearing. This is my John Renault Synthetic Top Style in color 627. Um, in the last series of videos I showed y'all, it was nearing the end of its life and it's pretty much done, but um, you can definitely take an old topper and wear it in uh, different updos and that's what I do with mine. And it's actually perfect timing because summer's coming. I'll be going to the pool with my kids and this is typically how I wear my hair. When I'm in the pool, I really don't submerge my head. Um, so an old topper is perfect for an updo. So that is the look I have today. But back to the Flex Topper by Amore. Now this um, little topper here, this is about a five and a half by five and three quarter inch topper. So it's going to be really good for those that have thinning right at their crown that need to add a little bit of fullness, um, which is what I need. But compared to this John Renault topper, which I believe is, is either an 8x10 or a 10x10, it's a much bigger topper and it's typically what I wear because I also need volume. I have very thin hair and thinning at the crown, so I need both. Um, but this is good for ladies who have some volume and... Um, already have a little bit of thickness but just needs some coverage at the crown. So this has four pressure sensitive clips just like your typical topper. This has a mono top so you're going to be able to adjust your part anywhere on the crown that you need it to go. Uh, this is a hand tied top here so it gives a very realistic look in the scalp. Now let's talk about the color. This is the honey brown rooted. So it has a dark brown root to it and then it's blended with medium brown and honey blonde highlights. So overall a warmer color, um, not a dark brown, just kind of a, a blend of a, a lighter kind of honey brown but definitely has that dark root which is great for a topper. Um, this has um, a little bit of a short piece in the front, about 12 inches, but overall your length is going to run about 14 inches. Okay, I'm super curious how this is going to look. It's definitely going to be it's definitely going to be a different look than what I typically wear, but we shall see. All right, be screenshot ready. Here are all the details on the Moore's Flex TP. Okay, here she is. This is Flex Topper by Amore. Um, as you can see, it's a very thin topper. There's not a lot of hair to it. Um, of course, I could just be used to seeing myself with a lot of hair from my John Renault topper. But I think when I spin, you're going to see that there's not a lot of coverage in the back. But this piece is definitely meant for like a crown booster for someone who just needs a little bit of oomph on top. Uh, maybe to cover up some thing that they may have, but it's definitely not going to give you like a ton of fullness, a ton of volume. Um, I have this front piece, which is a little bit shorter than what I typically wear here in the front. I had it tucked behind my ear. Um, if this was mine, I would probably go in and train the part a little bit better um, than this, but just to give you an idea of how much hair um, we are talking about with this topper, just wanted to stick it behind my ear to give you a, a good uh, overall look. So with toppers that are this thin and have this little of hair to it, you can see my bio hair is all the way down here, but you really need to get a good close match for your bio hair because you're going to see it through the topper because there's not a lot of fullness. So this one is a little light for my bio hair. I have definitely... Um, a darker brown but because this has a darker root I can get away with it it works um, but if this was gonna be my everyday look I would definitely need something a little bit darker to kind of make my bio hair blend in a little bit better now the topper only comes to about here on me so from the sides it goes from here to here I have the front right here and the back right here so let me show you I'm gonna unclip it so you can see um, how I put it on but this is Stuck in my hair so this is my bio hair as you can see I definitely need some coverage up top where it's thinning so what I did 
uh, with this topper is I just left it alone. And now the mistake people make with toppers is they try to do the part off of their head and then they line up the part that they've made with the part in their hair. And you don't wanna do that because you're gonna end up with a lopsided topper. So what you need to do is take it fresh out of the box and put it straight onto your head. So you want it pretty even. And a lot of people will tell you to put toppers kind of two, one to two inches back from your hairline, but I don't have a lot of hair up there, so I cannot go that far back off my hairline. I have to go pretty close. So you definitely want to get it as even as you can, both sides of your head. I don't have a lot of hair up there, so it's not going to clip very tight. And then you clip it in so it's secure, and then you go in and you adjust your part where your natural part would go. So I moved mine over to about right here, and then I had the bang here that swooped down in the front. As you can see, the topper is about right here, and then my bio hair comes down here. So I definitely have to do some customizing with my bio hair to kind of make this work if this was gonna be my everyday look. But I do get, um, I can easily put it behind my ear to kind of get it out of my face, and then I could definitely get a super easy updo with this since you can see because the topper doesn't have a lot of hair in the back I just use my bio hair and pull it up okay let me give you a 360 so you can see what it looks like all the way around now for some reason this topper had it's not stick straight it's got a little bit of volume to you to it see how it kind of wants to fluff out on the side so I probably have to wet it and calm it down a little bit so it would just lay flat on my head but let me give you a 360 and I'm running into my backdrop. If y'all see back there, you can probably see where my bio hair is shining through. And then all the way around. So like I said, this is definitely good for a root boost, um, just some coverage up top if you already have some fullness. But the color is beautiful. I love the highlights in this. This is the Honey Brown Rooted with Medium Brown and Honey Blonde Highlights. So a lighter kind of um, warm toned look with all the honey in there. But this is what it's going to look like. So if this is what you need, just a little bit of light coverage up top, this would be a great option for you. You could also pull the, the front part back like that and let some of your bio hair come down and get that kind of look. And again, a light kind of smaller topper like this is great for updos. You can get a higher updo since you don't have the cap coming down too far. You can pull it up pretty high and get a high ponytail or something uh, pretty with an updo. But there she is. This is a Moore's Flex topper. Um, if you need her in your life, head on over to wigs by pattiespearls.com. The distributor is so it's kind of funny. So the distributor is Renee of Paris. So they have a big umbrella of different companies or lines under them. So you're going to look for the Amore line, um, but you're going to see the Renee of Paris name on there as well. But look for the Amore line. And this topper is called Flex TP. The color is Honey Brown Rooted. Okay, guys, I will see you next time. Bye.